I remember the day I no longer feared death anymore. Even after I became a believer and knew what Jesus said about eternity, I still feared the process of dying. And although I had resolved what death meant as the daughter of God, I still was anxious about getting there. As a new believer, I seriously wondered, what if I die and God doesn't remember me? How will I get to heaven if he forgets me? I had felt forgotten and abandoned enough in my life that I had those horrible what-if thoughts. When I asked God about that, he reminded me this was impossible because his spirit dwells within me. His spirit will lead me home. I read in the Bible that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalm 116, 15. I love that. My death and yours is precious to God. He cares about that transition as much as we do. He will not leave us hanging in limbo, wondering if he sees or knows. That is not going to happen. That verse gave me great peace as well. As I learned to pray about everything, I thought that because we can pray about everything in our lives, why can't we pray about death? After all, it's the most certain and inevitable part of our life. So I started praying about that for me and for my loved ones, and I still do. My own father gave me specific instructions about his death. He wanted to die at home, and at the time he was living with me and my family, and he didn't want to die in a hospital or any kind of assisted living or hospice facility. So I began praying exactly that for him. I knew I had no control over how he would die and if he would need hospitalization or to be in hospice, so I prayed that he wouldn't need any of those things. My dad eventually moved in with my sister and her family because they needed him to be there when their children got home from school. They lived just a few miles from us, so we saw him often. I continued praying for him according to what he asked. On the day he died, he got up, prepared his breakfast while everyone else in the house was sleeping, as he often did. Only this time he went back to bed, which was very unusual for him, and he never woke up again. He died peacefully in his sleep, just the way he wanted to. He was 93 years old. He was not sick, just frail and tired. I had already had that talk with him about receiving Jesus, and he assured me that not only had he believed in and received Jesus, but he thought anyone who hadn't was stupid. I assured him that I did not suspect he was stupid, but I just wanted to make sure he was going to be in heaven when I got there. He appreciated that. His mind was sharp and clear, and on the day he died, I know he must have been wondering why he felt badly enough to go back to bed after breakfast.